happy evening from Xfinity Center, Maryland, 82, the Iowa Hawkeyes, 72. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Bosner, the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich. Guys, 82 points from the Terps. Heck of a game. Bruce, what'd you see out there? Hey, seven and three is what I see in the Big Ten. There's nothing wrong with that. I'll tell you what I saw, Bruce. What? I saw Anthony Cowan being the man. 31 points, five rebounds. High, Wayne, tremendous high. game, tremendous game. Sticks, great game. 14 rebounds, 18 points from Sticks. Great job defense on, on uh, Luca. Yeah, Cars is unbelievable. He's a, you gotta give him He's a load. He's a But they held him to four rebounds. So great job, more show on him Everybody and Sticks on him. Everybody on him, you know. Great day. The whole team pitched in. Wiggins had a good game. This is the Terp team we know. This we, get, we get them at home. Oh, at they, home. Maryland should play all their games here. Well, anytime they turn the ball over only 10 times, they're going to win. Yeah. Oh, they, it, it, was a, it was a total win. There were several times we thought Maryland might actually blow the game out. It, it kept getting back to seven or eight, but Maryland dominated the second half of this game in a way that makes you think they really can go someplace. If you play like this, you can go a long way in March. Well, you're seven and three now. What are we, 16 and four, 17 and four? I'm going 17 and four. 17 and four, and we have, uh, we're off till Tuesday. Rutgers, There's not an Rutgers easy game. There's just not an easy Tough game. Tough schedule the rest of the way, no And doubt. then you gotta go to Illinois, which is. Illinois's pretty good. They're damn they're good. top of the league. They're yeah. damn good. I mean, that's Mason's uh, dark horse pick way back in the preseason to win this conference. Well, it was just a great effort, and uh, it started off, I was a little worried. I thought that they had their stuff going in the day, but they lack that guard power. Well, you know I mean? they, they have a 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, small forward to place point guard. Yeah, I mean, and they, we they don't, he, they, didn't, he didn't have a game like he did the other Well, day. he did for the first couple minutes. He had eight points in a hurry, and, and then Maryland shuts him down. But I like the pace of the game. That was Maryland's pace game. Mm -hmm. So, how was your trip, Rick? Egypt is beautiful. Was it nice? Recommended highly. All right. Pyramids are wild. <laughs> well, welcome back. Welcome back hey, is Welcome right. back. And here is a word from Rick Jacklich and the legal team. And we will be back. We'll see you Tuesday, Center. right? Absolutely. We'll be here. Hey. The Jacklich Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. Xfinity Center. Of course, we'd like to thank Rick Jacklich for his sponsorship. We want to thank Meyer Consulting Engineers of Rockville, Viner Foregates of Rockville. Uh, you know, the, the sponsors keep coming. We look to debut a, a few new sponsors next week, along with CAG Federal Systems. Cordell, welcome into the post-game show. Did you hey, have fun watching the night's game? I did. This is one of the funnest games I've been at, uh, maybe since that Ohio State game. I mean, the building was packed. The, the energy was high. It was a great back-and-forth battle between two good teams in the Big Ten. Uh, this, was a, this was the game to be at. Yeah, you know, you're pretty confident once they got that lead going into half. And then they came out. And look, something else we didn't talk about yet. They were unbelievable on free throws. You know, Maryland was excellent. Maryland went six for six in the first half. Um, Iowa only had one free throw in the first half. Well, they, they finished were, 13 of 16, I believe. I mean, they were throwing everything up from a distance. So, what do you expect? Maryland seven of 25 beyond the arc. You, you got Cowan's incredible line, 31. I think it's six boards, five assists, one steal, two turnovers. Uh, just, just a career line. What more could you ask for? MVP chance. And they should be. Yeah. I mean, he who was has great. a better one-two punch? I mean, Jordan, the young trip, was bringing this up with about 10 minutes to go. 
best one-two punch you know of in college basketball? I think Maryland right now possesses the best one-two punch in basketball. I mean, as great as a game as Cowan had, he had his career high on points tonight with 31, but, I mean, you got sticks with 18 points and 14 rebounds. Who can beat this team when the when those two guys are at their A, at their a game? I would say nobody right 82 now. 82 points is a lot today. Yeah. All right, that's a lot. They haven't done it for a while. They won the game on the road the other day. I think that Indiana game just, it was so important. So back up a half, that halftime of the Northwestern game. Things looked like the world were coming to an end. When Turgeon said, now you could turn, pretty much now it's time to turn the season around. And what do you know? They've been spectacular since halftime in Chicago. Yeah. Uh, no doubt about it. And uh, I just love the position they're in. Now we got Rutgers coming in on Tuesday. Tuesday night. And, and then we go to Illinois. Yeah, whoever thought Rutgers would be a big game. You would look at that beginning of the season, well, that's like a walkover. It's no walkover. Uh, no easy games in a big so the, the one thing, so uh, so many positives tonight, and then Sticks had to cover Garza, and he, Sticks doesn't foul out. I mean, that was a tough match. I think he had three blocks on Garza. Oh, I think he had more. I think Sticks finished with six blocks, five blocks. Uh, we'll have Connie check the stats there. When you look at the Maryland lineup, you're starting to see those minutes again, 35, 32, 33. Yeah. And then you look at a, a Dante Scott at 15. Ricky Lindo has three. Shoal Marial doesn't play again. Right. Sorrell Smith did pretty well in his 11 minutes. Right. What do you make of the growth of Sorrell? They're not, well, they're, we're not scoring. The bench is not scoring. You almost can't even call Wiggins a bench guy because he plays so many minutes. But the bench is not scoring. But one thing we got to talk about, because we all noticed it, I think Maryland had six points, I mean six buckets, with less than a second left. They kept yeah. suck moving, you know, mm. using the clock up and right. scoring right, right at the buzzer. Right. I mean, they started the game that way. Sticks gives yeah. up a dunk to make a quick layup right before the clock goes off. Wiggins dives to the basket. Morcel dives to the basket. And then Maryland starts to penetrate and kick out to three as the clock runs down. And, Just and a masterful floor game tonight. Minus a few bad throw-ins at the end of the game. Well, uh, Morcel had a very good game. And look, you got to have four guys scoring. And you can't do it with three. And today we had five because Ayala got a couple buckets. But you just can't do it. You can't get to 80 with three or with three guys. You got to have everybody contributing. And uh, Lindo's got to score. And Sorrell's got to score. They didn't score tonight. You know? well, and you still get 82. Right. Still get 82. I mean, I think that's really been Maryland's MO all season to this point. You got the definite two guys that are going to give you buckets between Cowan and Sticks. Then it gets a little foggy when it comes to that third option. It could either be Ayala or it could be uh, Wiggins. And tonight, we got a little bit of both from both. Right. Got a lot of scoring right. from uh, both of those guys. You had a pretty good game from Wiggins. It goes two for nine yeah. from beyond the arc. And still gets his 11 or 13 just points. Being aggressive, he just he was he was really being aggressive. That's all you can ask for. This jumper may not be falling, but just stay engaged. But all it right. still looks so pretty. Yeah, we, oh, okay. let's take a minute because uh, we won't be in the air till Saturday. First game for Maryland in lacrosse. They face High Point and Asher Nolting, a tour time favorite. It's going to be a very tough game. Maryland's like Tillman doesn't even know who's starting to goal yet. I mean, he, well, a lot of decisions. Yeah. But Super Bowl Sunday, let's each, each give a score and see who does the best, Wayne. Okay, uh, I'm going Maryland 16 to 12. Yeah. That's the big game for me this weekend, Turf Speed High Point. Uh, you said there's another Super game? Bowl. Super Bowl. I don't care. Who are you going to pick a pick? 27 20 KC over the Niners. Uh, I'm going to go I'm going to go 31 28 Niners. Whoa. 41 24 KC. The Niners cannot keep up with them. I really it's, don't think is so. Is Casey bringing the Sunshine Band? Or is I that don't a different know, discussion? <laughs> Mr. Turgeon's pretty concerned about that he game. Is. Hey, we, he is. Uh, so we have to head in and co uh, see what Coach Fran has to say. Oh, as yeah. Iowa be good. falls be good. on the road. Maryland 82. Iowa's Hawkeyes 72. We'll see you on the radio 1300. CBS Sports Radio Saturday for the Sports and Monday. Maven, and Monday on WNST. Uh, both. Well, Saturday brought to you by Coons Ford, Monday by Science and Kirk. And we'll be back here after the game, after the Rutgers game on Tuesday evening. Good night from College Park. All right.